Hi guys, in today's video I want to show you how you can add the load orders in um, the latest version of uh, Truck Dash. We did uh, recently a couple of uh, upgrades, so I want to uh, show you um, everyone how it works. So we go and we add a new load, for example, let's say you put Coyote as a broker and we can put some commodity, let's say steel coils and you put a reference number, whatever you desire, or whatever the coyote rate confirmation says. Then you can mark this load as a partial or a full load. Then let's say this is a tarp load, one piece, 35,000 pounds. And now the next step, we're gonna go ahead and, um, and show the pickup location. So we show it as a pickup, let's say today at 4 p.m and then we have to look for a location so how the system works it's gonna look on google and it's gonna look internally if you have worked before with this shipper so for example let's say chicago steel i'm sure there are some companies by this name okay so as you can see there is like a chicago steel on chase street gary indiana so if i click on it it's gonna open so for example when it opens like this it means we haven't had this customer in the system so now we can save it right away or we can put some additional notes for example some shippers require uh, drivers to wear their uh, pro, um, ppe like uh, personal protection equipment so let's say requires drivers to wear ppe at all times for example so once we added this stop, as you can see, when this stop has a note right now. So for example, if we add, just for the sake of it, I'm gonna go and um, show you again this company, right? Sh Chicago Steel. So you see, uh, we have found on Google a couple of uh, companies by this name, but also we have uh, one in saved locations. So this side location, if we select it again, as you can see, the nodes will be uh, shown automatically. So in this case, let me go ahead and put a different location. Let's say Miami Airport, right? So Miami International Airport, again, it's a new location. We can add it. So as you can see, we added it. We didn't mention any nodes. There are no nodes there. So now we have to to show how much we got paid. So we add a pay item. Let's say we got paid a flat fee from Coyote of $5,000. Then we go save it. And now we have the miles, we have the pay. And also this, uh, I'll explain you in a later video what uh, how this works, but uh, it's gonna be always marked uh, by default by the system. Unless you wanna use this option, I'm gonna show you in a separate video what you can do with this. So we're gonna save it. We're gonna save the order. And in this case, if you wanna um, go ahead and assign a driver to the order, we can uh, click quick trip. Then we can put a driver. Let's say we're gonna put this driver. If, if you want, you can put a truck number for him as well. And then what else we can do? And if this is a current trip, planned trip, or it's already, maybe it's already done, you are behind and you wanna mark it as final. So all trips mark, marked as final will be paid to, automatically to the driver when you, um, when you do your payroll. So for example, I'm just gonna put this as his current trip, save trip, and now we have all the load information, including the driver. If you wanna edit something on this trip or for this particular driver, you can open the trip. So let's say in this case, this is the load, but you wanna uh, show where the driver was coming from. So let's say we're gonna add one more stop today's date let's say 9 a.m the driver got empty in at midway airport let's say so that's a midway airport and because i already had this as a saved location it didn't pop up uh, as a new location to, to for me to save it again so i'm gonna save it so now we have midway airport chicago miami correct so that's how it is if the driver took a different route and it's paid per mile and you want to be you know meticulous about it you can just go and drag the route for example through if he crossed uh, through another highway so now we're gonna go ahead and save it and what we have now it's this current trip made, uh, made by this driver if your uh, system is integrated with um, 
one of the YL, uh, YLD providers. Currently we have uh, Motive and I think Truck Assurance. If you have one of those and you already integrated from the company settings, then if we go to dispatch and we search for this driver, we're gonna see his current trip right now. So you're gonna see where the driver is and how far away is he from each of these stops. So for example, the driver is empty trying to make it to Chicago, then we see he is 757 miles away, which is 11 hours away. So now you have an ETA of over 11 hours for the driver to get to his first stop. Then we update it here. And then as you can see, it shows driver is coming, current location is in Kansas. Uh, he has 767 miles to make it to Chicago, to his next stop. Also, we can check driver's hours of service. We can update it uh, if we want to. If not, it updates every hour. And, uh, and that's, uh, that's in this case. So now, let's say you have someone offering you a load from Miami and say, hey, do you guys have any trucks available in Miami? Then we, we can go ahead and search for Miami and we can say, hey, we don't have anything today, but looks like we have a truck on the 20th. So, so that's pretty much how it works. Um, in the next videos, I'm going to show you guys how you can do load with multiple trips, multiple drivers, um, and as well, how do you pay your drivers? Thanks for watching.